All right, so we're we're right next to it. We're just parked, but we're in a public spot. We're gonna we're gonna walk to the with our feet showing our feet that we're walking, and we're just gonna keep putting trash from the car into the shell trash can, right? But our feet will not be anywhere near it. Now, near shell property, we're just gonna be throwing the trash their way. Now, I. I've lost a lot of weight, so I'm taking the uh, shoelaces, right, that they forgot to give back to me the last time at the jail. I had to go back and be like, dudes, you could at least give me my shoelaces, right? So I got them now, and I'm going to use them to tie up my pants. So I will not be anymore going, oh, my God, my pants are falling down. Nobody has to worry about, should I eat more food? How's my bipolar? Like, how am I feeling? It's not that. You already know for years. I've been feeling really bad, and there's these and agnostic and antagonists who are coming toward me. They're telling me lies. I tell them the truth. Someone actually comes and tells them also the truth. Someone who works with them. They're not accepting the truth from him. Maybe they don't like his English either. But they totally misunderstood when somebody says, okay, it's not him. And another person goes, okay. And then someone goes, you see, Nayeli, it wouldn't make sense that the smoke was coming through the vents because he was right. I mean, it's all been explained to them that it's not me. But all three of them there have decided together as a team, the ambassadors for Shell, which when I was talking to Jeremy, he's one of the owners of one of the situations here in Santa Barbara. Maybe it's more by my house, Galita, right around where Lee, the vlogger, took off right there maybe she went to that shell took a direct line after talking to one of these assholes from their ambassador team which are on their, their little television sets that blare in every one of their stations join our team join our team at three in the morning do you know what kind of noise pollution and it comes all the way up to the low budget county facilities where i'm living jeremy do you remember the long phone conversation where you did not like that I was pointing out that there were needles? I found not diabetic needles. You did not like that I was saying, okay, I got one of your guys. When you were going, there's no way that you got there. Three in the morning, someone wasn't there. It was 24 hours and I, it's a 24 hour thing. And I'm like, I know, but I was there. Your guy, I know him. He's a buddy. He doesn't work for you anymore. So it doesn't matter. He doesn't mind what I tell you. He was in the back where your cameras can't see him, your employees. And that's where they were doing the math. And now you know all that story now, right? But you were blaming me on something just because I pointed out. No, they weren't shooting up heroin in the bathroom. That was somebody else. It had nothing to do with your team. I was just telling you that he couldn't have been at the door, that you were accusing me of, like, I could have gone in and paid. I, w I had a trouble because you took all my money from the pump. And I can't talk to a pump going, what are you doing? You, you took the money. You didn't give me the, the cash. It's, it's the weekend. Your care center number doesn't work, but you're told that's what you got to do. If the machine rips you off, takes all your money so that you cannot now go get your daughter. You got no money to buy food for her over the weekend. What kind of father was I? I was getting gas. I was driving for Lyft and Uber and DoorDash. I bought so much gas and coffee and cat food. I would talk to one of you, David. Oh, you got a cat too. One of you working there showed me once. Oh, I got, you had your cat on your Visa card. You showed it to me. You liked it until I pointed out that the bathrooms are too messy during COVID times and that you lied to me, you said, I just cleaned it, I went in there, there was footprints on the toilet seat, there was all this crook, there were needles on the ground. I photographed it. That's when you got pissed off. That's when you all got pissed off. So I stopped photographing, because it seemed like in Santa Barbara we can't do that. Well, now I don't care. 
Because I think they're not coming back, those cops, right? I think we're going to spend the whole day here. So we're going to do everything. We're going to make a big old cart, cardboard thing. We're going to ride on it, all these cool things. We're going to put the address of Slab City. We're going to say, hey, free masks here, please. We're sending masks. If you got some extra masks, we're sending it to Slab City because I got this bag full of these, these masks. I'm sending them to you today if I'm not thrown in jail, right? If I got any money. I don't even have money to send that. I asked 10 of my subscribers to put in a dollar so I can get a homeless man a burrito to eat. And nobody did it. One person afterwards put in $10 just to make up for all 10 of you. Who, you can't do it. You can't say why you can't do it. I mean, my friends that I know that my friends, Mary Magdalene, who's also Mary Mandolin, she was like, well, I, I wanted to put in the dollar, but it won't, Cash App won't allow this certain prepaid card. And that's when I was like, oh no, I can teach you about that. It's not the Cash App's problem. It's the prepaid card and somewhere how they're allowing you to spend your money and they're doing it for you it's for your own safety right but it doesn't make logical sense why would a dollar be that necessary that you're gonna do things that are gonna cost some other place money to keep putting like a hold here a stand here and that's the shell if there's nobody in i'm just saying here for santa barbara goleta montecito and ventura just talking about those shells and if they're all the same, I just suppose it's gonna be like this everywhere. So it means if you have a card and maybe you got, let's say $50 on your card, it's your visa, it's your bank card maybe. And you can't go under, right? It's not gonna allow you to go under. So you go to the gas station and you go, all right, I'm just gonna put in this $10. This is what's happening here. I'm gonna put in this $10, but Suddenly, the thing comes up, it puts in $10, but then it shows on your card that you just overdrew by 100. I never understood what, what, what happened? I thought that it messed up the decimal point, that it was like, you know, it was 100, 0, 1.00, 0, and the machine, it's just a pump, it doesn't know, it just went beep. And it flew it. It didn't know like, well, wait, you've been coming into here for two years with that same car. It's this tiny car. You could only fit like $25 maximum. How all of a sudden is this computer understanding that I will need $100 just to pour what, on the floor? Yeah, it turns out that company, the Shell company, has a special thing set up for cards and things where ah, they might not trust you at that 3 a.m. The guy wasn't there, he would have trusted you. He'd be like, I see you all the time, I know it's all right. But he would have told me, ah, they take an $80 deposit. You understand what I'm saying? So I took $10, it took $80, like, oh, we'll see if you're a card. Let's see if this Visa company, Slate, let's see if you're Chase Bank, right? It's really gonna pay uh, your $10. Do you see the insanity? And everything, the care line's closed. I couldn't do my life. It's never been the same. My, my, my ex-wife never trusted me. Again, my daughter, I don't know what she was thinking, but it's, it's, it's against me. And all I was doing was getting a car wash. I used to get car washes there all the time. How is it that a kid who comes to your place with a bicycle and telling a cop, dude, I used to come here in 1970. Everyone's always just like, like that doesn't matter. Seniority doesn't matter. When did that happen? Lieutenant, corporal, captain, sergeant. If it works for you, it's got to work for us. But 
mentally handicapped, stop pushing us, everyone. Dude, Shell, teach your team, teach your ambassadors that are screaming through these television sets that you're still trying to get new blood, aren't you? I'm gonna make sure that never happens. Those TVs are going off. They are sound problems. You were laughing, right, Jeremy? All of this stuff was making, you were having fun with my illness over the phone. I recorded it, did you? You didn't, I know, you were laughing too much. But it's on the recording and you sound so terrible and it looks so bad. And so many people have heard it, seen it. Nobody put in the comments, wow. That dude, that's really cold. Are all owners of these chains gonna be like that? Like, you mean the lower end workers are actually gonna be lying for the upper ups in front of a human being looking at you and they're going, well, you'll have to call the boss. And then I call the boss. He's having himself like having lunch served to him. He's eating grapes. He's being fanned. I can hear it all. And he's laughing at me, but he's got to do this conversation, right? Because I went through all those protocols and I did all that stuff to the point where he's, I'm harassing him, right? But ah, he's got to talk to me two more times before it's going to be considered harassment. But he thought he took care of it his way. I think he sent me a check for, what did they give me? $7 to pay back for any inconveniences. You give me COVID. You're killing off people with your bathrooms. The only thing you can do after all my screaming for two years is just shut it down for months. How human. And that's the thing, I'm bringing it back. People, I know I keep yelling up at these and, you, and no one seems to be like, it doesn't matter. That's what I guess is everyone saying. I go, it's not healthy for any restaurant not to allow anybody to use the bathroom. That's just unhealthy. And that used to be a thing where you couldn't have had your restaurant if your bathroom was always closed. That's where the first inspector sign goes that we're like, is it an A, is it a B, is it a C? You see how all that stuff didn't matter? Because it turns out if the inspectors are scared of the COVID, they're not gonna go in and look. And if the bosses are just behind their telephones, but I know where you are, Jeremy, in the morning. I know where your truck is. I can just walk over there, grab a Starbucks through the drive-through, and then walk up and talk to you. Or walk up and talk to that lady who went to elementary school with me. That She told, hey, we should get everyone from elementary from Peabody over there. Let's, uh, let's have a reunion. Maybe Kathy Ireland will show up. Right? And stuff like, yeah, funny. But when I start having trouble here and I go, hey, lady, you got to take my side. They, you know how long I've been in this city. We went to elementary school together. You know this, Jeremy. Can you go up in the office and have him just come up and come outside and speak to me? Why doesn't he want to come outside and just speak to me? I'm, I'm right there. I live down the street. I've been complaining about these television sets. They go, buy our gas. Join our team. Don't forget to buy some water on the way out from the point market. Where they were serving this disgusting coffee in a way. They were allowing us to do it. And I would point out, hey, you know, this isn't really healthy and they're just and after the COVID yeah they had to start doing all the things that I was pointing out and so like a bitch because I was tired of them shaking them head like I knew nothing and that I had not spent all this money on them and that I wasn't going in like 30 times a day to get this coffee and that I knew all the systems I knew all the people I was seeing the circulation of the people who got there and then they leave I'm still here. I will be parked out here, Gustavo, Rudolfo, and Nayeli, because you're who I want to get. I'm just going for you, Nayeli, because you won't look me in the eye. You won't say you're sorry for accusing me of something that I didn't do. 
you were told by the right people, you know it's not me, but you're gonna continue using that story, right? Because you don't wanna wash the bathroom. It was that. It was on your watch. Something happened, somebody smoked, and to save your fucking job in this stupid place where you're not doing it, just because you don't want to waddle over and clean it every time like you're supposed to, that's not fair. It's just because you want to stand by the cast register and get out of here before someone else starts speaking to you and asking you, do you know what the First Amendment is? Do you know what three times 75 cents is? Do you, these questions where, dude, Jeremy, if this is your team and I've done these same questions with everyone on your team, if everyone in the whole city here that works for you doesn't know the First Amendment, doesn't know how to put three times 75 cents, just doesn't know how to be human, you don't know how to treat mental illness, and it's all over by that one shell, by my house, right? Because I live by the county services. There's always people with mental conditions going through your place. There's always people with other problems that could be passed on like in food, cross-contamination it was called. I was just saying, I'm just doing bar rescue, do it in a, it's just the bathroom. It could be in a restaurant, it could be inside your own house, anywhere. But don't be like, well, we're just gonna take it away since we can't seem to do things cleanly. And then, all right, America's number one. And then on the weekend, when somebody's like stuck, they can't even get to you, and you're partying with your family and your loved ones, and you're all safe, right, from this COVID. But you must know what the First Amendment is. Learn it. There are five things. Come to me. Say them to me. Say that you know it. Apologize. Understand why you're apologizing. And then if you send the police on me, it better not be for the same lie. If you've said a lie, you've been proven that you lied, just say, all right, I lied, sorry. Show some compassion for the person that you just accused. Don't make it like it didn't matter that we're overreacting. You started it. You don't understand. You started this, Jeremy. Don't you remember? Do I need to send you the tape again? See, you didn't listen to any of those tapes that I sent you. You didn't listen to the, vi you didn't look at the videos. You just assumed you can't be guilty. Your team can't be guilty. So you're gonna do whatever you want can. It's not gonna happen. I told you that on the phone. I said, you know, you're laughing now and you're saying that I'm being irradical, blah, blah, blah. You're blaming it all on me. You're messing with my head. I'm gonna listen back on this recording. You're gonna sound really like an asshole. You can't smile, be an asshole, own all the stations so that I can't get gas. It's not gonna happen. There's a thing called the Russian Mafia. Yeah, you're, gonna, you're all gonna be laughing, you're all gonna be smiling, and then you're gonna be in. My viral video, trying to what? Grab the camera from me. You'll be bleeding to death. I'll be just going, what's it like? What's it like to die? Quick, tell me, tell me. 